eight years after people. A spacecraft called Cassini silently orbits Saturn, 750 million miles from the Earth. In the time of humans, it generated countless revelations about the ringed planet and our solar system. Now, it is quite alone in the frigid void of outer space. Well, not quite alone. In the innards of the Cassini spacecraft, there are probably uh, very, very hardy bacteria which hitched a ride on the mission. They are called extremophiles. We know that these extremophiles can survive very harsh conditions. We find them in the dry valleys of Antarctica. We find them in the Yellowstone mud pot. We find them in basically every environment, no matter how harsh. These hardy bacteria were believed to stow away on all kinds of space vehicles to make sure there'd be no unintended consequences from these microorganisms crash landing on the surface of another world, NASA planned to end Cassini's mission by incinerating it in Saturn's atmosphere. Now, without mission control to order its demise, Cassini and its tiny stowaways are on a voyage into uncharted territory. Twenty years after people. The Cassini spacecraft continues to orbit Saturn. But Saturn also has more than 50 moons, making any orbit fraught with peril. Now, the spacecraft smashes into one of these moons. It should be the last of Cassini. But this moon has something that was never expected in the frigid depths of space around Saturn. Two million years after people, the Cassini spacecraft is long gone. But its stowaways have flourished because the moon they smashed into was a very special one called Enceladus. It is one of the few places in the solar system believed to have liquid water. If Cassini were to crash on Enceladus, then it's possible that the bacteria that hitched a ride on the spacecraft could survive in that watery region just below Enceladus' surface. In a thousand years, you would have a, a growing colony of bacteria in the Enceladus environment. And over millions of years, and even billions of years, that bacteria might evolve into a whole ecosystem. It would be quite remarkable if the sort of final legacy of our technological society here on Earth was the greening of another moon in the solar system. <laughs>